welcome back to another video. I'm still here at the China South Asia Expo and I am probably in my favorite era today. The part that I wanted to share with you guys today, so cool. So I'm gonna let you read these and then I'm gonna let you take a guess in which building I am today, what we're going to be talking about today. So here we go, the Yunnan Energy Investment, China Southern Power Grid. We are going to be talking about low carbon energy technology here in China, but most importantly, how green is China? Let's go. It's an absolute solar dominance in China. China is the global leader in solar energy production and installation. The country accounts for about one third of the world's total installed solar capacity. Did you know the green energy investment? In 2022, China invested over 266 billion US dollars in renewable energy products more than any other country and that really is just highlighting its commitment to reducing carbon emissions see look this is what I told you that's probably one very famous guy like important guy I would say making some connections there with people look everyone is just staring at them look they're they walking there yeah no, that guy is definitely some important guy I'm telling you because everyone is following him but as we're walking around here like you can see everywhere is just about being green now that we're here at the China Street Gorgeous Corporation for example hydrogen fuel cells China is investing heavily in fuel cell technology with plans to establish a comprehensive hydrogen infrastructure by 2030. This technology is seen as a crucial component for reducing emissions in heavy industries and transportation. Look here, waste water treatment, waste to energy power. Right next to the city, by the way, there at the back we got the hydropower, we got an energy storage station. And talking about wind power capacity, China is also the leader in wind power with the largest installed capacity of onshore and offshore wind farms. The country aims to reach 1,200 GW of wind and solar capacity by 2030. See, these are for people like me that they explain to you exactly how everything works. Like here, they even got a nuclear power base that are or, that's already in operation in all the different provinces like Guangdong, a few in Guangdong. They're in Guangxi, Guangdong. Oh wow, even Namibia, really? Go Africa. Wow. 28 units in operation. The world's leading clean energy supplier and service provider. Always something to do with China when it's about leading, I told you guys. Look at all these solar panels. Like talking about low carbon stuff, we need to again talk about the electric vehicles because I feel like that is something that is all over, right, in every single city. And when you watch on the Western media, it's always like, oh, China, the pollution is so bad in China. That was maybe 20 years ago. Now, more than half of the EVs in the world come from China, and most people are driving EVs now. Like, if you drive a petrol car, you're not weird, but you kind of not that great, I would say, because the government here in China has been working so hard to motivate people, giving people a lot of benefits to use EV cars to help the to help the pollution and 
everything here in China they're really just focusing on making the lives better and better for people and also the country the environment by the way these are again all solar panels I cannot get enough of it Oh wow, look here, the hydraulic. How can we even talk about anything going green, low carbon, without the high speed rail network? Did you know that China has the largest high speed rail network, which of course significantly reduces carbon emissions compared to air travel i mean it's the easiest choice what's better for going green airplanes or these high-speed trains the network here in china spans over 40,000 kilometers and it is still continuing and continuing to expand yes planes are amazing but in china i'm telling you guys more and more people are using the high-speed trains because you don't need to be there one hour or two hours before the time the train leaves. You can be there like 15 minutes, 20 minutes before the train leaves and that's it. It is so convenient. It doesn't move. Like You guys have seen the coins that don't even fall because it's just such a smooth ride and it goes so fast. Yeah, like for me, going to another country, of course, use planes, but in China, for me, I really, really prefer to use high-speed rail, like going three, four hours. It costs like 230 RMB per ticket. Yeah, high-speed rail network. This is energy in China. I mean, look at the solar panels that they put just on the roof of parking. Look there, definitely changes something changes the battery look here like people stop here and then they park with the solar panels right car can just drive look at like all the hydraulics that they just put in the middle of a city because eco cities are also becoming a really big thing in china look they even got the train which we talked about right like they're just showcasing everywhere how china is becoming green like look here again solar panels it is just everywhere they're using the big country that they have but using it effectively they don't just you know this whole area is just solar panels no they actually made it a city and in between they use solar panels as much as they could but yeah green cities like cities going green is becoming a thing now in china where they just use hydraulics they just use solar panels they just use anything they can that doesn't make any pollution that is just completely green they're making complete cities out of that so all the points i've just mentioned before it really just illustrates china's significant strides in adopting and promoting low carbon technologies really positioning itself as a global leader in the fight against climate change because I feel like more and more people are becoming aware of climate change which is amazing but I feel like China is actually taking the steps the actions to make it a better country and also in the end a better world so more people more countries more governments can learn from China so that was all I wanted to say about going green people go green as you can see this is the green energy pavilion that was amazing you really just actually feel cool and of course we're ending it with another pair of solar panels go green go china i'll see you in the next video